can deal with a lot more than I ever thought we could. We're stronger in our marriage than I ever thought we could be, even with him being deployed so much. As sad as it is and as terrible as it is, I really think that they've gotten closer just because of how much they have to depend on each other. And something like this, like even for me, just being a friend on the outside, like I call myself, we call each other sisters, but you know, I'm, I'm a friend. And it changes your outlook on so many things. It just makes you appreciate everybody around you. It makes you appreciate just being healthy. And I really think it's made them a lot closer. And he is an amazing dad. Like, the, the kids love him. I mean, they've, they've stayed strong in all of this, and it's been so difficult for them. They, you wouldn't know it to look at them, but they've been there for Felicity. Like, they never let their emotions take over. Felicity's parents and her grandparents um, and great grandparents, they are just wonderful people and um, and I just felt like they you know they needed a break. They can use some extra help, you know, to to get through the tough time that they were they're in, that they're gonna go through, you know, that kind of Jonathan's mom is here. They actually she's in Alabama, but she comes down as much as she can and then Amanda's parents are beyond amazing to them and uh, I come down I live about an hour away I come down just as much as I can and not even really to do much I just love being around them like I just love spending time with the kids and it's just a lot of fun and with the sad situation About pretty much the first entire day, I just kept telling everybody that it wasn't him, that it was somebody else, that there's no way that that much could happen to one family in the span of three months. I just, just said, there's no way. But it did. And uh, I guess now all we can think is just that Chad is just in heaven, kind of just taking care of Felicity and just being God's little helper, taking care of her. And, watching over her. He lived every day to the fullest. He didn't sit around moping. He, you know, he always took advantage of every day. Everybody loved him and he was just a nice guy, great guy. And, I mean, I've gone over to their house, his parents' house, and, you know, just sat there with his parents just quietly, you know, just because they just hurting, you know, just, just in a lot of pain. It's hard because he still lived at home. And it's, it's hard for them, you know, because he, Chad's presence is everywhere in their home, even though he's, he's gone. Um, I just know that they're, they're hurting. It's the outpouring um, love that the community has and wanting to help others. It's, it's really awesome. It's amazing. I'm just, people are, it shows how real people are and how caring people are brings everybody kind of closer together. They are a very special family. You go over there and it's just positive at their house. You just, you feel happy to be over there because they have such a positive outlook and just such, they make you feel so loved. If you could say anything to some couple that would be going through the same thing, what, what would you say? Guess it, don't get discouraged. It's it's so easy to get bogged down with all the bad and all the negative. Just let it let it go. Because I mean, you still if you still have your child, then you still have hope. As long as as long as she's here, we're gonna fight for it. Just keep fighting. <laughs>